So we get set for the opening face-off of tonight's matchup. Out there, Brent Govro for the Oshawa Generals. Demidov also out there. Repnev also out there. Ralph is out there. And, of course, uh, Rusenstrom, Mike Rusenstrom, will be on the left point. For the battalion, kicking off this hockey game, of course, it's Delavidova in the net. Tyler Hanchuk wears number two. He'll man the point. On the, uh, at center ice, you've got McClement. On the right side, Aaron Van Lucen, who we saw at the top of the show, and Chris Cook on the left side. McClement and Govro kick it off. Govro gets it back to the point. Gets it for Archer. Archer looking for Ralph. He can't tip it ahead to Freya. And back the other way now is Rice. To the outside. Rice trying to get it to the side of the net. Assetti stops. Reynolds pops. Let's a shot go. Assetti has no clue as it goes off of the crossbar behind him. Delight penalty going against the battalion. Right in on goal. Shot. They score. Oh, Dougie, Brad Woods got caught at Oshawa's blue line, and that created the two-on-one for Oshawa, and that resulting in the first goal of this hockey game, and the Generals lead at 1-0. John Kozaris is going to get credit for this goal, and what a beautiful wrist shot. He parked by Scott Delavadova, watches this as he uses the defender as a perfect screen. A good job by Kozaris, fakes the pass, then winds up with the wrist shot, and it gets kind of underneath the blocker of Delavadova, on the far side, and that makes it one nothing for the Oshawa Generals. You know, I'd like to see that again because I think that caught a piece of Jason Malenko's stick and went by Delavadova. You see the puck take a jump as it gets by Delavadova. Oshawa clearing the pressure all the way down the ice. Harrison leaves it behind the net. Loose puck bounces out in front. Montgomery with a great opportunity. There's another shot. They score! Well, coming Il in off the point, Dougie. That was Ilya Demidov letting one fly from the point. And just confusion. I think Jay Harrison touched that behind the net, thinking that that was icing. He did, and then the puck came out in front of the net. Gave a good chance for number 14 for Oshawa. Pat Montgomery, he missed it and got creamed. And the puck goes all the way back to the point to Demidov. Watch. As he gets creamed in front of that, the puck goes back to the point. And with no regard for human life, Demidov <laughs> just wound up and fired a cannon past Delavadova to make it 2-0. Eight. Woods gives the puck away. Fryer has it. He's got Cullen with him. Gets it to Cullen. He scores! Wow, nice job by Cullen to take it off the skate, then kick it forward onto his stick. And Cullen, with his sixth goal of the year, has made it 3-0 Oshawa. In a flurry of less than two minutes, the Generals have scored three. Beautiful play as watch Cullen take it off the skate. And then flicks it upstairs. Delavadova trying to stack the pads. He got over there in good time. But the shot just a little too high gets by Delavadova. Just like that, it's 3-0 in this hockey game successfully killing this one off and that was an important power play for the generals uh, here's their first fight going at the blue line Harrison going with Cullen both throwing big right hands and both letting it fly Cullen with some uppercuts both guys with big huge right hands Oh, a couple of haymakers by both guys. Jay Harrison trying to fire his team up. Sometimes that's all it takes, Dougie, with 4.43 left in this first period. Both Cullen and Harrison will head to the box after the two exchange some pretty solid rights. Cook picks up the loose puck. Van Lusen has it go off the glass and off of him. Van Lusen back for Cook. Cook at the side. He scores! Chris Cook! There you go. The Brampton Battalion doing some good work on the forecheck. Van Lusen. Digs the puck loose, gives it to Cook. And Cook goes short side on a seti. That's the first goal of the hockey game for the Brampton Battalion. And it comes from an unlikely source as Cook gets on the board with just his third goal of the season. Van Lusen digging it out, leaves it for Cook. And Cook just fires it at the net short side. And he had a seti cheating to his left just a little bit. That opened up the short side just enough to sneak the puck through. And the battalion are on the board. It's now a 3-1 hockey game. Oshawa in front. One of the few defensive breakdowns we've seen deep inside of Oshawa's end. 
Torres has it poked away from him. Brimstone's got a man in front. Centering pass. Huge save from Della Madova. Control it. There's a pass that picked off. And Klesla had to be there. Good job by Woods on a second effort. But he was the one who gave the puck away. Amazing how quick you can get. Right out in front, Klesla with the goal. Oh, Dougie, that's a fantastic goal. Lucas Hobble, with ever so soft hands, got it up to McSwain. And McSwain got it across the ice. And a great job there, finishing it off the Brampton Battalion. Doing a fine job. This is fantastic. Watch this pass by Lucas Hobbles. He just flips it up over the stick to McSwain. And McSwain across to Klesla, rushing in, who stepped up to take a chance there. And he buries it. He had nothing but nylon to look at. Let's Asseti. have another look at this goal, Dougie. Assetti, not to be faulted on this one. He did everything he could. What a great touch pass. Landed like a pancake. McSwain over to Klesla. The left-handed shot buries it. And that makes it 3-2. The battalion within one. Deminov with time. Rashad, they score! That was deflected, I believe. Repnev got a piece of that one in front of Scott Delavanova. Well, it went five-hole, and you know, the Oshawa Generals have really dominated the battalion on the face-offs in this hockey game, and as a result, their fourth goal of the game is Demidov fires it, and it sneaks through Delavanova's legs and into the net for a 4-2. Oshawa Generals lead. So the Gens have restored a two-goal margin here at the Brampton Center. Here's Demidov at the point, getting it. Fires it through a whole series of legs. And it might have been uh, Klesla there on the far side. And Delavadova, you can tell by his reaction, Dougie, that he didn't even see it. Bounces it along the boards, and the penalty to Rusty Klesla is now over and done with. Loose puck. Klesla after it. One-on-one. -on -one. Joining up is Reynolds. Heading to the front of the net. Klesla stopped. Gets around Reynolds. Klesla then is absolutely hammered at the top of the circle. Brandon Cullen runs over Rusty Klesla with a vengeance. Reynolds tees it up. His shot deflected. Hops over the stick. Bateman can control it. And it goes just wide. But Swain knocked off stride. Then Reynolds gets hammered by Rowan. Comes back to McSwain. Kurt McSwain gives it in for Chris Rowan. Back for McSwain. Loose puck. They score! What a great second effort by Kurt McSwain. Chris Rowan really created that play. He was down there just hammering bodies and got the puck out in front. McSwain, while being upended a la Joe Thornton, gets it past the city. And that's a huge goal for the battalion. They are now down just one. As a set, he allows his third goal of this hockey game, but really fantastic work there by this line. As McSwain goes to his knees, able to get the stick on it, and he capitalizes to make it 4-3. You know, this line is going off and being replaced, but I got to tell you, this is going to be a short shift. You'll probably see the McSwain line back out very quickly. The the McSwain line and the McClement line have played extremely well in this hockey game. Chris Rowan and watch McSwain with a second opportunity. I said he thought he had the whole side covered. And going down, Kurt McSwain slides it under the arm of TJ Assetti. Harrison tips it ahead for Rowan. Up for Klesla to Hovel. Lucas Hovel back for Klesla. Rusty Klesla. Klesla's got room, trying to feed it out in front. Hobble standing at the top of the crease. Comes right to Hobble. Loose puck. Assetti's down, and Harrison has it. His shot is blocked. And Repnev took that off the top of the foot. Stone. Comes back. Maleko shot right on. Rebound. They shoot again. Torres can't get it above Vassetti. He makes the save. The penalty is over with 24 seconds to go. A flurry of activity in front of TJ Assetti. Yeah, good job by Ralph to clog up the front of the net. Lesla keeps it in. Lesla, time winding down. Lays it behind the net. They've got a man in front. Got to put somebody right in front of the net. Back to the point. Shots deflected into the corner. Klesla has it again. Back for Klesla. Five seconds to go in this hockey game. Centering pass. It comes off the skate. Torres turnaround shot. And he whistled that just wide as time comes down to a close. And Oshawa leaves with a 4-3 victory in the Brampton Center.
Well, Dougie, more entertainment, more OHL entertainment for your buck. What a fantastic hockey game. Everything you could possibly imagine in this hockey game tonight, hitting, goaltending, scoring chances, nice passes, shooting, and what a fantastic hockey game. The Brampton Battalion fall by one to the Oshawa Generals, who pick up their second win in a row here in this OHL skit. You know, down 3 nothing. you got to give Brampton credit for fighting back in this hockey game, but they drop a 4-3 decision to the Generals here at the Brampton Center. We're coming back with the three stars. Stay with us on OHL Primetime. So tonight's three stars, number three from Oshawa, Brandon Cullen, number two, Rock, uh, Rusty Klesla from the Brampton Battalion, and Ilya Demidov, the number one star in tonight's hockey game. What a whale of a hockey game we had here tonight. Two, as we said, evenly matched hockey clubs. Let's go down to the hammer, Mike Hancock, standing by. All right, welcome back here. Thanks a lot, Doug. I'm standing by now with Rusty Klesla. And Rusty, first of all, just maybe your comments on today's game. Uh, it was a tough loss. We, they scored three quick, quick goals. And, but uh, we said after first period, we said we have to battle back. So we worked hard, scored two goals. Then we, they scored a lucky goal in the, at the end, the second period. But we worked hard, you know, and just it was a tough loss for us. We had a couple of chances at the end, third period. Yep. Now, how big of a momentum turner do you think that goal was at the end of the second period? Well, it was just, we lost the face-offs, and uh, there was a shot from the point and lucky, lucky tip in front. The, if, if, we, if we went to third period, like uh, in a... On the third, uh, three to two, so we could uh, like tie the game, but uh, it was penalty at the start, of the third, my penalty. But yeah. So how well do you think the game plan uh, was executed today? How well do you guys think you guys played today? Well, we play, we play pretty good. We play hard. We was three, three goals. Yeah, we was a little bit down, but we said we just said we have to work hard. We did, but. I said a tough loss for us. Okay, thanks a lot, Rusty. Great game today. Yeah, no problem. All right, back up to you, Doug. A big victory, a 4-3 win for the Oshawa Generals in Brampton as the Generals walk away with the big two-point victory. Scott Delavadova played an outstanding game as well. So for Sam Cosentino, for Mike the Hammer Hancock, and the rest of the crew here on OHL Primetime, I'm Doug Anderson. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next broadcast.